Have you ever launched something and literally made zero dollars when you launched it? I certainly have. Back actually when I launched my very first set of digital products, it was a photography preset and a couple of eBooks. I made exactly zero dollars on launch day. Okay, so I just want to share a little bit about, you know, nowadays we make $40,000 plus in one launch week. And ever since I implemented some really specific strategies, I've been able to drastically increase the amount of income my launches bring in when it comes to digital products and courses and programs that we're offering. So I really want to share like the top things that have made the biggest difference for me and just seeing really great revenue when it comes to our launches and feeling like our launches go a little bit better than making zero dollars. So I hope this video is going to be really helpful. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that I think made the biggest difference when I came to launching our, you know, products since the zero dollar launch and seeing a lot more success is to create what our audience wants. And at the end of the day, like obviously you don't wanna just create for your audience. You wanna make sure it's something you're passionate about, something you actually wanna create, right? But also creating things and products that your audience also wants can be a great stepping stone to the things you truly want to share about. So for example, so when I launched those first set of products, nobody asked me to create those eBooks. Like I don't think I'd ever been asked about those eBooks. I literally made almost no money on those eBooks. However, one thing that I did do right was those photography presets. I got asked a lot about my editing and my photography and what presets I used. And I actually ended up making $10,000 that year from those presets, even though I made $0 when I launched it. And so just because you don't have a successful launch doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to be successful in the long run, but you need to make sure that the thing that you're creating is something that your audience asks for and that they want, and that it is something that they are going to be excited about and excited to actually give their money over to purchase from you. So what I like to think about is, you know, what is your audience asking you? What are questions you tend to get a lot. And a lot of times these questions and the things that they're asking are the things you're naturally good at and that they can see in you that you may not even see in yourself that they want to learn about and that you can monetize and create a digital product based on that. Another thing I like to think about and something that can make it easier to get started with when it comes to digital products or courses is what's easy for you to create and share right now? What could you talk about all day long? Or what are some templates that you've created and that you've already used that you can easily share with your audience and that they might find valuable as well? For example, those photography presets I had made, I created them myself. I had already made them. So it's just packaging them up, putting them in a place people could download them and then offering them for sale was the key. And since then, so if you followed me for really any length of time, you know that I talk a lot about Instagram reels around here. And it's kind of funny, like even thinking about my journey, when I initially created the reels mini course, which is our signature course on Instagram reels, like I created that course knowing that I wouldn't want to be an Instagram educator forever. And like, I didn't want to be known as only an Instagram educator. And eventually I would want to branch off and educate on other things about business and how to grow your income. And like, but I didn't start there. I started with where my audience was at and what they were asking me for. And by far it was Instagram reels. And I was actually very resistant to creating that course initially because I was like, I don't want to create a course on reels and only be seen as an Instagram educator. But I can tell you like it is actually like been really cool to see how my business has grown over the past couple of years and how I've been able to pivot and do so many other things and teach in so many other ways. So it definitely doesn't mean like when you create your first product or a product that it's going to be that way absolutely forever, right? Like you can always be growing and you can always be adding new things into your offer suite. It doesn't have to only be in that one area, but starting there can be a really great stepping stone to getting to where you want to go. The second big key that led to us having, you know, multiple multiple five figure launches uh, as opposed to a zero zero dollar launch is priming our audience. So I'm a huge fan of content marketing, organic marketing. We don't use paid advertising on a monthly basis and a huge fan of just really serving your audience well and giving away actual valuable content and then asking for, you know, their paid money <laughs> to buy your products. And I just, uh, I think it's just such a great way to build your credibility, to build trust with your audience, to show that you know what you're talking about when it comes to your niche. So that's really something that I implemented after that launch with future products that led to a lot more success It really just sharing a lot of free valuable education around the topic that I wanted to sell a digital product on. So for example, I the, the next following year launched a online course on photographing wedding details. So for about four to six weeks before I launched that course, all of my YouTube videos, my emails going out to my email list, my Instagram content was all centered around how to photograph wedding details and really 
really showcasing to photographers that followed me, like, hey, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to wedding details. And then when I went to offer the course, it just made sense that I was offering it, right? And they're like, oh my goodness, like you've already given me so many valuable tips that I didn't even pay for. I would love, like, I can't even imagine what I would pay for. Like there has to be so much more. And so it led to a really great launch. My first course launch was over $5,000 in one week, which is just insane. Now I had a very small audience at that time. And so I really wanted to share that because I think sometimes we think, oh, if we put too much out there, like we're not ultimately going to make money. No one will pay us. But the opposite is actually true. Like when you put valuable content out there completely for free and lead with value, lead with serving, you're ultimately going to bring people in that are going to connect with you and trust you. And it's going to build your credibility. And they're ultimately going to pay to be inside of your paid offers. So when you're creating that content, just think about like, what are the things that need to know? How do they need to think differently? What are some, you know, surface level, high level tips and strategies you can give around the topic you're ultimately going to put out a paid offer about? And I usually really hone in on this a good four to six weeks before I plan to launch that digital product. Like everything that's going out content wise on our podcast, on YouTube, on Instagram, like everywhere is centered around that topic. The next thing here that's super important to recognize and just highlight, like in seeing these bigger launches is that we are leaning into email marketing. Okay, so when I launched my first product, I did not have an email list. I had just started my email list, I believe, didn't have really any subscribers. And fast forward to when I launched my first course, a little over a year later, I had, I think around 3,000 email list subscribers. And so I spent that year really making sure I was driving people to join my email list and driving the right people to join my email list and really making sure that was a part of my strategy and how it was showing up online, especially with my content and the way that I was marketing myself and making sure I had irresistible freebies that people were downloading. And so it's just such a great, like, email was literally created to sell like the first email newsletter that was sent out made millions of dollars which is just absolutely crazy like people are joining emails expecting okay I want to be up to date on their promotions and their sales and things that are happening social media was really created to connect and while we can use it strategically to sell right and to drive traction to get in front of our audience email is really where a lot of that monetization is going to happen and we actually have we're running this live in about a week and a half but if you're watching this after the fact, um, you can watch the on-demand replay as well. We're running a free online class on email marketing. So if you're interested in joining that free class live, the link will be right below this video. Or if you're, you know, watching after the end of September, 2023, if you're watching after that point, the class will have already run live, but you're able to sign up and watch the on-demand replay at any time. So join us at the link below and I would love to see you there. The next thing that I think has been very, very impactful for our launches is simply serving our audience. And what I mean by this is almost peeling back a little bit, like before that four to six week time frame that you're going to launch something, how are you showing up and serving your people when you don't have anything to sell them? And I think this is something that a lot of times is overlooked or a lot of times I see people online, like they're, you know, showing up and posting consistently and being so consistent with their audience for a good month, then they launch something. And then it's like, they ghost them for two months until they have something they want to launch again. And they start posting again and ramping it up again. Again. So just think about like, how can you really show up and serve your audience, even if not everything that you post is going to lead to monetary compensation, right? Like think about how you can give value, show your journey, get vulnerable with your audience and showcase the things that you're learning, show things that they want to know about, like the questions that they're bringing to you that maybe doesn't even relate to an offer that you have, but you can still show up and give value and educate and inspire your audience around whatever that thing is. So just making sure that um, you're serving your audience and still showing up and doing it even when you don't have anything to sell. And honestly, sometimes in those gaps of like where you're just showing up and truly just serving is where you actually find the best ideas for digital products, where you build the most of your community and where you really build that trust with your community before you really ramp up for a launch. The fifth thing that was very impactful for our launches and having higher launches is growing our audience. And this might be seem kind of obvious, right? Like if you're getting your, you're getting your paid offer scene in front of more people, you're probably going to see more conversions. Not always the case, but if you're doing a good job of serving your audience, giving value, all the things we talked about, and you have a great offer and you're pitching it well, like you're obviously going to see more conversions from that by getting in front of more people. And for me, like there's obviously a lot of ways to do this and a lot of like 
a lot of online um, educators, a lot of business owners who sell online products tend to do a lot of paid advertising. I personally do not. I really focus my efforts on content marketing and organic marketing. And at the time of this video, we don't have a certain like resource for you as far as like gaining that momentum with your content marketing and your strategy with that. We hope to run a live program in the new year on that. So stay tuned. But yeah, I mean, really, this is just put, peeling it back even further too of making sure like when you do grow your audience, Audience, grow it with the right people who are genuinely interested in putting in the work and doing the work to actually grow in whatever it is that you offer for your digital products. And the main ways that I have found to do this is having an evergreen marketing strategy, having an organic marketing strategy, one that focuses on sharing long form content, just like what you're watching right now, as well as short form content, like on Instagram reels has been very impactful for us. And so just making sure like this kind of goes off the last point of like just genuinely serving your audience but you can genuinely serve your audience with free content that then is going to attract a new audience as well and help grow your audience. But I think it's also making sure you're not just focusing on one vanity metrics, but also two short form content that might go viral and get you great views and traction like really quickly, but also requires you to show up in your business every day in a way that I like to teach in showing up sustainably and growing your business to sustainably with organic marketing. It's focusing on long form content as well. And that's going to look like creating YouTube videos, creating a podcast, maybe creating a blog. Like there's a lot of ways you can create long form content, but I would say like it, it's just so important to make sure that you are showing up in front of the right people, that you're attracting the right people so that when you do go to sell your digital product, it's not filled with a bunch of people who are coming to you for different reasons, right? And making sure you're attracting your ideal client and your audience to your account. If you're wanting to connect with me even more on a day-to-day -day basis and stay up to date on just all the free business advice we're giving out and connect even more, uh, I'd love it if you follow me over on Instagram at Stephanie Case Education. We'll have a link right below this video in the description. Um, my handle is at Stephanie Case Education. So you can come follow us. We share pretty consistently, like pretty much every day. And it's where you can really connect with me on a more day to day basis versus on YouTube, which is once a week. So I would love to see you over there. And if you have any questions about anything we chatted about in this video, feel free to drop them below. And as I mentioned earlier, if you haven't already joined that free email marketing class that we're going to be running live in about a week and a half, or if you want to um, watch the on demand replay after it's been run, be sure to go to that link right below this video and you're able to join us. And I will see you guys in the next week's video on Tuesday. Thanks for being here and I'll see you then. Bye guys.